there are primarily two main approaches that I think we all take when it comes to helping people grow and flourish, whether you do that as a parent or a teacher or a leader in the secular corporate world or the church world. These two approaches are what I would call an industrial approach to people or an agricultural approach to people. An industrial approach to human beings is a manufacturing one size fits all batch mentality, <laughs> which sums up our education system, doesn't it? And whilst that may work with things, it doesn't work with people. An industrial approach is obsessed with controlling outcomes and compliance. And if this widget, this machinery, this thing we're making on the production line uh, is in any way faulty or remedial or doesn't tick our boxes, it's broken and needs repairing um, or needs a do-over. And I think when we approach humans like that, we do more harm than good. The second approach is one I favor now in my life and have for years, which is an agricultural organic approach that simply sows a seed like a farmer does with land and lets it become whatever it becomes in someone's life. This is much more of a biblical Jesus approach to humans where he saw the seed step back and let it become whatever it became in the soil conditions of their life, either now or later. He didn't stick around watching it and making it have the outcome he wanted it to have, which is the industrial approach to humans. I want a hundred or a thousand of you, so I'm gonna make sure you all comply and conform. This and more I want to teach you in the upcoming Servant Leader Mastermind I'm gonna do with a live event, 30th November, because one of those approaches is serving of people and the other is making them serve you and your systems and your tick boxes. And time is up on the industrial approach and time has come for us to step into, with greater intentionality and strength and energy, an agricultural approach to helping humans thrive. That is what servant leaders do. Love you guys. I'll see you on the 30th. Cheers.